I got, I got, I got, I got. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Blah. <laughs> It's been a minute, yo. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Kicks Brian here. It's been a while. I've been quite busy. I haven't posted any tutorial for a while now, but shit, I'm back. And today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create an application using the tabbed uh, activity. So basically, the tab activity is the one with the header and switching and whatnot, switching of pages by swiping, blah blah blah. I think we all know what tab is. So now let's get to it. We're gonna name uh, my tab application. Let's give it that. It sounds weird, but oh well. My tab application. That's crap. Next, let's use 4.4 as usual and now we have to choose tabbed activity so here we have we need to choose either swipe views action bar tabs or action bar spinner we don't want spinner we don't want swipes but we want action bar tabs which is the most common one yeah okay so we have the main activity and we have the fragment because we're going to be using fragments in this one so finish and it's creating now so let's get to the first step for the first step we are gonna need to create uh, fragments so basically the fragments are the pages or the tabs in our application so yeah what we have already these ones are gonna come alone we have the activity main we have the fragment main we have the main activity the java but now we're gonna have to create java files and uh xml files so i think we should create the java first new java class let's call this tab one we're gonna be using three tabs in this let's call this tab one and let's create the xml file layout resource file just leave it that way uh, tab one underscore frag it's not really necessary to put the underscore frag but I'm just putting that uh, out there so we don't get confused or anything okay and there we have that one so we can copy this paste call this tab 2 underscore frag and paste one more time and call it tab 3 underscore frag okay so now we'll come to the java side and we're gonna extend this as a fragment extends fragment okay when we do that it's a lot better okay yeah so basically what we do is press alt insert yeah alt insert and we're gonna pick the override methods and when we get the override methods we scroll and look for the on create view so on create view open eyes down I can't exactly find it here so oh yeah here it is so okay when you get this the next thing you need to do is wipe out this nullable shit nullable we don't need this we don't need nullable here uh-huh this is okay we're gonna have to take out this inflator 
basically we'll just wipe this whole thing out right wipe this whole bottom part out and we create a new view okay so it's a view yeah we can give it a view give the view a name let's say my view equals inflator dot inflate r dot so now you're going to call the fragment for this particular java class so we're using tab one right so we call tab one frag and comma we now choose the view group which is uh, container here and sorry i wasn't supposed to go out of brackets container comma false saved instance state will be false okay so now we close this and end then we have to return the view return my view okay so we're done with this now let's copy this paste it call it tab 2 copy oh my god sorry copy paste it call it tab 3 there so now we have three tabs we already worked on tab 1 on its own so we'll go to tab 2 now we have to change this to tab 2 frag because we're linking tab 2 java dot java to tab 2 tab 2 frag dot xml yeah so we'll call this tab 2 frag and tab 3 we'll call it tab 3 frag okay so we're done with that now let's get to the designing of the fragments we just we don't really need anything much maybe we could put a button on fragment one let's put a button here I don't really like using linear layout so it's change this to relative okay so I can actually move this anywhere I like oops oh Christ what am I doing though missing classes okay relative layout all right there perfect so now we'll bring in the button let's leave it in the middle here now for tab 2 frag we can also use li linear layout or we can use relative whatever you prefer i prefer relative so i'm gonna use relative relative layout and now let's add a text view why did it get so big reduce the zoom please zoom out zoom out zoom out zoom out there okay so i'm gonna use a text view here or something and you might notice I'm using the newer version of Android Studio so if you're using an older one a few things might be different but the coding I don't think there's there's no difference with the coding so far so far it's the same code for the old versions so yeah you have the text view for tab 2 fragment and let's go to tab, tab 3 I'm not changing this from linear I'm just gonna leave it as linear there then maybe we could add uh checkbox or check text view whatever this is now let's add something we could really differentiate uh okay i'm gonna add your calendar view where is it calendar view okay there so we have a calendar calendar view for uh tab three frag so there our fragments are ready 
to be coded now we have to go to the main activity main activity and we're gonna delete a couple of things yeah first of all let's go back to the activity main.xml sorry there's this floating action button we don't really need this at all you can leave it if you want maybe if you have a function for it but right now we don't need it so it shouldn't really be there to confuse anyone we'll delete it and we'll come to the main activity now it's it should show here floating action button with the snack bar and shit so we'll take that one out and yeah there that part is gone now we'll go to the uh placeholder fragment we'll take it from here down up until it gets to the section adapter section page adapter which is here delete great so here is showing error now what do we do we take it out take it out and i'll tell you why so basically we want to here we are going to use a switch case to show which uh fragments we are going to be using to switch the pages so it already extends the fragment page adapter and you already have the public section page adapter blah 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 so it's already overriding and now we're going to use the switch case here take out the return later the return is going to come in but let's take it out for now and put switch position we call position back okay case so usually when you do switch case the first number is most is mostly zero so we'll go with zero tab one which is what we have then we'll give it a variable t1 let's say t1 equals new tab one so i'm making an object of a class here there return there so, so there'll be many returns in this return or t1 so what this is saying is if you move and it's tab one if you switch a page and it's tab one it wants you to return t1 okay i'll explain further on that if i feel it's not explanatory make get item blah 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 oh man nope we're gonna leave that for now continue case one so we'll go to the next one yeah case one we'll say tab two equals oh sorry tab two t2 we're making an object of the class again new tab two and we're gonna return t2 as well t2 finally tab three which is case two we're gonna make it object of a class for tab 3 as well t3 equals new t3 return t3 so now we've returned all this we have to call the default default and then we return null return null okay so now let's figure out why this error is here i really don't get it so far oh and i missed something there yeah, please don't forget to put your columns uh this part is okay so we need to figure out the errors be fragment 
not fragment manager so we're gonna have to take this one out okay there so copy this and paste it right here for all of them remove the fragment and use v4 and the error is gone which means your application should be able to run now there it's running 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 so just wait a while it's been long since i used android studio so this might take a while i don't really know I'm not okay it's already starting so in the middle yeah okay guys so here is a system so the tabs are working we have the calendar view in section 3 we have section 2 so we can actually rename this if we want I'm just gonna do this real quick let's change section 1 down here to let's say first tab and if we run it again oh uh, great build running great build running hot swapping there you have this first uh, first tab the name has it has been renamed and we have section 3 so thanks for watching this video guys if you like it don't forget to give a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel yo share this video with your friends i do the basic android developing and i'll let you guys know how it goes so maybe in the next video we'll be talking of a different activity entirely maybe navigation draw because a lot of people have been texting me up and hitting me up for the tutorials on that so i'll probably be co covering the navigation draw next so keep it locked to kika unduka and peace yo